Here we are in Big Bend National Park, Texas. Behind me, you'll see the Chisos Mountains, which are the eroded remnants of an ancient volcano. And Big Bend has a great history of volcanic activity, but that's not what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. Today, we're going to talk about Big Bend's fossils. If you would have been here in the Cretaceous, the landscape would have looked very, very different. We had the Western Interior Seaway, this shallow sea that extended all the way from the Gulf of Mexico up to the Arctic Ocean. And uh, in that shallow seaway, we had the Penn and the Boquias formations being deposited in this area. And those are limestones that were deposited in shallow water. And in those shallow waters, you would have had predators like mosasaurs. And a mosasaur about 30 feet long was excavated from the rocks here at Big Bend. Now, as time passed at the end of the Cretaceous, we had the Rocky Mountains forming to the west, and that western interior seaway started receding. It started going away. And so we uh, had the environment change from shallow water to a broad coastal floodplain. And the Aguja Formation was deposited in this broad coastal floodplain. And many fossils were found there, including uh, hadrosaur dinosaur fossils, ceratopsid dinosaurs like Aguja ceratopsid, which is similar to Triceratops. Uh, there were giant trees growing in that area, some of them probably about 164 feet tall. But the most amazing fossil of that time was Dinosuchus, a 35 foot long alligator. And this alligator would prey on dinosaurs. Many of the dinosaur fossils excavated in this area have tooth marks from that giant alligator. Now, as that uh, uh, seaway retreated even farther away and eventually just disappeared from this area, a big river system flowed across this, this region and deposited the Havelina Formation. And in that, we had river channels and we had broad floodplains and we had another incredible fossil discovered there. And that is of Quetzalcoatlus, which is the largest flying animal known. It had a wingspan of 40 feet. That's the size of a small airplane. And fossils of Quetzalcoatlus, this giant flying reptile, were excavated not far from here. And so might look like a desert today, but if you would have been back here at the end of the age of the dinosaurs, you would have seen amazing ecosystems.